Every year, climate disasters destroy the livelihoods of billions of farmers. At the same time, cyber attacks cost business billions. Yet, many remain uninsured, not because they don't want protection, but because uh, traditional insurance to which they are exposed has some disadvantages such as lack of flexibility, high cost, long delays, and uh, little penetration in certain areas. Hello, I am Daniel Kameni, an actual consultant at the Tralytics and a PhD candidate at the Polytechnic Institute of Paris. My work focuses on the building and developing smarter and uh, modern insurance products through index insurance. So index insurance is a game changer. Unlike traditional insurance, which requires accessing the damages uh, before paying out, index insurance uses a simple trigger. For example, an index insurance product in agriculture could be built in such a way that an index on rainfall, temperature and precipitation is used to compensate a farmer as soon as the index falls or goes above a certain threshold. And the compensation in this case is automatic. This means faster payout, lower costs and fewer disputes. But there are challenges too, especially something we call basis rates. This is the risk that the insurance payout does not reflect the real loss of the policyholder. A farmer may be, uh, for example, exposed to a loss, but the index does not trigger. And in this case, uh, it can cause problems between the farmer and the insurance industry. In one of my research papers, we explore a way of addressing these basic risks by combining index insurance with traditional insurance. Index insurance is usually presented as a solution that is going to replace traditional insurance due to its numerous advantages. We believe in some sectors such as agriculture and uh, cyber, this replacement is not always the ideal solution. A 2023 study by Olivier Lopez and Maud Thomas shows that basis risk increases with the severity of the loss. This means index insurance is not always an adapted solution for severe losses. Building on these findings, we propose a hybrid insurance contract where index insurance is applied for small losses where the losses could be effectively managed using uh, statistical and actuarial tools and the switches to a semi-indemnity product for uh, losses above a certain threshold. It is termed semi-indemnity because uh, a predefined amount is paid to the policyholder immediately after the loss, with the remainder being settled after loss assessment. This design improves protection while keeping costs, delays, and administrative burdens low. We validate this using data from uh, the agricultural sector in the state of Illinois that I will present later. Our model also accounts for delays in compensation of traditional insurance and often overlooked a factor in insurance design that strongly influences the policyholder's preferences as far as insurance is concerned. A key question is how to determine the threshold we just talked about, the threshold which helps to switch from index insurance to traditional insurance. We define a value that maximizes the utility of wealth of policyholders, reflecting their willingness to accept the insurance product. This threshold depends on factors such as uh, index insurance payout accuracy, uh, the indemnity payment delays of uh, the traditional insurance, as we said, and uh, the premium uh, loading. Using data on congeal losses in the state of Illinois from 1937 to 2021 and an index built on weather variables, we show that when compensation delays are accounted for, our hybrid insurance contract is more satisfying to policyholders than a fully indemnity-based uh, insurance contract. So why does all this matter? This matters because emerging risks are improving and growing at a faster rate than our current tools can handle. Index insurance can fill this gap. This is because it is scalable, it is flexible, it is fast, it is cost efficient, and it is highly compatible with artificial intelligence. With the right design, it can protect the most vulnerable, such as farmers facing droughts, small businesses hit by crime, and even entire regions recovering from disasters. Index insurance is not just a technical fix. It's a social solution. With climate change threatening the food security of many countries in the world and the cyber risks increasing daily, we need modern protection tools which are inclusive. To regulators, insurers and researchers, this is what I can say. Let's work together to scale up these solutions, reduce basis risks and provide a suitable insurance to those who need it the most. Let's make insurance matter for a world that is changing fast.